Emirate of Um Al Quwain in the United Arab Emirates, just an hour away from the vibrant city of Dubai, operates the Emirates RDF's brand new refuse-derived fuel facility. It diverts the household waste of half a million residents in Um Al Quwain and Ajman away from landfills, sorts out valuable recyclables, and refines the rejects into sustainable fuel, which is then used to power the nearby cement industry. We can process up to 350,000 tonnes of incoming waste every year with an 80% conversion ratio. This means that for every 100 tonnes of incoming waste, 80 tonnes of RDF fuel is produced. The remaining 20 tonnes is split between waste metals, i.e. steel and aluminium, around about 5 tonnes, and 15 tonnes of inert material and organic waste, which is landfill locally. The project was supported by the Ministry of Climate Change and Environment, and the target for everyone was to improve the state of the UAE's waste management. The facility is the first of its kind in the Arabian Gulf, but more than 70 similar plants successfully operate in Europe and other parts of the world. Rising volumes of waste in the area are a direct result of rapid urbanization, population growth, and changes in consumption behavior. The UAE has set a strategic objective for cutting down landfill by at least 75% by 2021. The RDF fuel that is produced here is destined for the local cement industries. It's significantly cheaper than coal and has the added benefit of reducing CO2 emissions. We are very excited to be part of this project and the benefits and impact it has on the local area. In the two-line Tyrannosaurus waste refining plant, the waste is shredded and sorted using intelligent technology from the finished material handling specialist, BMH Technology. There's a primary industrial scale shredder which reduces waste to 90 millimetres in a single pass. After this process, the waste is then sorted and separated. Uh, steel and aluminium is ejected and recycled, and organic and inert material is ejected, the final product being a fluff made up of paper, plastics, cardboard, which is sold as RDF. An on-site laboratory allows technicians to check the quality of the fuel. Moisture, calorific value and chlorine content are all measured against an industry standard. Using RDF as an alternative energy source has cost benefits in addition to environmental benefits. We are here to shape the region's waste management and energy production and we are proud to be part of that transformation.